chances are that you and I don't agree on everything. And chances are that there are some things we agree on. We could just as easily choose to disagree in those areas where we don't see eye to eye, as we could choose to find the places where we have common ground and focus there. I'm Deb Calvert. I want to welcome you back to this series that I've been doing on critical thinking. It's no more lazy thinking. And in each video, I'm looking to, to explore some different tips for building our mental might. It occurs to me that with everyone I meet, I'm really, really interested. I'm looking for what is it that we have in common? And you don't usually have to look very hard to find out that there are some things you have in common with every single person that you encounter. So I can't help but wonder then, why are we so quick to look for differences, to, to find those places where we don't agree, to make judgments based on those things we don't agree on as if I have to be right and the only way I can be right is if I prove you wrong. Seems like a lot of wasted time and energy to me. And I think it's lazy thinking. It's oversimplification. It's, well, it's kind of tribal, right? If I can only see value in the people who are just like me, then I think there's a whole lot of world and a whole lot of good and a whole lot of people that I'm going to miss out on. I think we've evolved beyond that. So I really resent it when there seem to be messages out there that suggest that we should be polarized or focused on each other's differences. This actually happens quite often in teams. I, I do a lot of work with team effectiveness, so I have a chance to observe this. In teams, there can be factions. And, and frankly, you almost can't help for there to be some different interests of different parties within a team. If for no other reason than because, yes, we are a team, we have a group goal that we are expected to meet, but we are also each individuals and we have our own unique individual needs and goals that we are also responsible for meeting. When we focus on those individual differences and do a little turf protection and focus primarily on what we individually need, then we allow our factions to splinter us. And the reason that happens is because we lose sight of that piece that holds us together, that group goal. This is why it's important in companies for there to be a set of values and a common mission, a purpose that unifies the entire organization so that no matter what type of work you do in that company or on your team, that you remember how your work contributes to the achie achievement of that mission. If you lose sight of that, well, it starts to feel like you're just punching the clock and cranking out your X number of widgets that you're responsible for. That's not very inspiring, and it's certainly not very unifying. Focusing on our common ground gives us an opportunity to collaborate and to work together to innovate and to do things where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. But it will never happen if we focus on our differences. We've got to look for that common ground. Good critical thinkers understand that we can have differences and we can have similarities. We need to appreciate those similarities and work together with them without denying or disrespecting or becoming dichotomized because of the differences, because they also have high value. We can do a better job of recognizing and appreciating that when we first start by finding our common ground, the goals we have in common, the places we agree, and then continually building on top of that.